Hello, I am David W. Parker. This is Programming Today. I learned Svelte and Svelte Kit series. Today, we are going to be adding MDS VEX to our Svelte Kit application. So that way we can have paths and routes that have a markdown file rendered. So it'll be a pretty simple, quick add of an NPM package, a little bit of configuration. And then I'm going to go ahead and show you how to load and display from the markdown file and then also how to get a list of them or like an index page uh, so you can display each of those out as well. I've also went ahead and upgraded Svelte Motion to fix the issues that we had last week uh, where I couldn't do certain Svelte, kit or Svelte Motion things. So, And then finally I fixed a little bug with the tour that was displaying the little flash uh, when the tour wasn't quite enabled yet. So let's go ahead and take a look at our demo real quick. We'll just kind of jump around. So the first one is the tour. So now if we are here, it's going to load right to the proper page. And if it's ended completely, it won't load at all. So that's just a quick, simple one. And to do that, the only thing that we had to do in our tour step here is just grab our JS store and make sure that JS is enabled. So that was really quick. On the motion front side of things, let me go to motion real quick. So this one where it says it's not working is now working. And you can see it there. And then this other one as well. So the only thing I needed to do for those is uh, upgrade from 11.1 to 11.2. Uh, I had put in an issue and Michael fixed that very quickly. So let's get on to MDSVEX. So we have a list of pages here, or in the index, and here is an MDSVEX layout, and it's got the theme toggle built into it, and here's the second post. So pretty simple. The first thing we want to do is install MDSVEX. So npm install. The next thing we're going to do is in Svelte config, we're going to go ahead and we're going to import path file URL to path and uh, mdsvex. We're going to go ahead and just resolve the uh, directory name that we're in. And then down here below our preprocess, we're going to add an mdsvex block. We're going to give it <clears throat> some options here. The first one is going to be extensions, and it's going to be markdown files. Um, you can go ahead and call this whatever you want to call it. You know, uh, I've seen mds, mdsvex, you know, whatever. Um, I'm just going to do .md, and I'm going to provide it with a layout. And this is the name of the layout, uh, which will take shape in here. Let me just load up these files as well, where it says layout at the top here in this uh, front matter. So we can call that whatever we'd like to. But I'm just going to call it MDS for now, but it could be you might have a layout that's specific for your archive. You can have another layout for your posts. You can have another layout for whatever you'd like. And then uh, using path join with this director name, uh, going ahead and supplying it with the route to this layout file. Now I'm using underscore layout.svelte. You don't have to call it dot layout or underscore layout, you can call it whatever you'd like. It can be, you know, awesome blog. And as long as the file name and that file exists, that will be used as the layout. And then finally, in our configure block up here at the very top, we need to make sure we have the matching extensions here. Otherwise, SvelteKit won't know to match those as felt files as well. So that's it for those. Let's go ahead and take a look at this layout file. So the nice thing is, in our exports, we have anything that's in the front matter is exposed. So this layout, this title, you can add a list of categories. If I could type, um, you know, one cool. So you could have all of these imported here. So you export let categories, whatever, and that allows you to do certain things like, you know, using Silt Head to change the title depending on the route. Uh, if you wanted to change whatever you wanted to do, do or change, let's say you had a list of categories and you wanted to display those out in your MDSVEX layout file, you could do that. 
And um, I'm doing that on my blog. It's all the same thing. So if I go here and I look at here, you can see categories. So that is how I am doing those categories. And back to this. So this is the title. It's up here. And I could make it whatever I really wanted it to be. So it's kind of nice. And then, of course, this is the MDSFX layout. So one thing to be aware of is this layout file lives inside of your main layout file. So it still lives inside of uh, the outermost double underscore layout. And I would venture to believe if I had another layout file in here, I haven't even tried this, so let's try this, that matches. I say, let's do div cool for slot to see. Yeah, so that lives within the layout too for this particular route. So you can see the cool way over here. So just something to be aware of that the MDSVX layout will fall under any layouts that live within its its roots. So if we have a layout here, a layout here, etc., it'll follow along with all of those. And of course, providing slot allows it to get passed down to the markdown file. So the path here, MDSVX, this is just something I arbitrarily put. You could make this be blog or about or any path. It doesn't have to be MDSVX. The main thing that I've had issues with, and I'll show you this in a moment, is trying to display a, li a list of posts that are outside of your particular folder. I'm doing it in an interesting way on my blog, um, whereby I'm grabbing all of posts, and you can see different spaces that they're at. Let me do posts code. So I have a bunch of code here, and it has new ones and as well as my archive ones. So I'll show you how to do that. So. We have two folder files here. They both have front matter uh, with layout and title. But like I said, you could have whatever you like here. Then below it, it's going to have markdown. So if I wanted to go ahead and do that, I can do that. Nice thing is in VS Code, you could see the preview here. Um, the main issue with that, of course, is uh, with MDSVX, it is a Svelte file, so we can have an import in here and then use it. So if I go back to our blog here, and I have the theme toggle. Uh, that is another thing I didn't mention. I just extracted this uh, theme toggle out of the nav. It is the exact same as the code it was before. I just took this code and, and moved it. So that way I could demonstrate it inside of this blog post. So it's from, it says, hey, we have a import just like you would on any other silt file, and then you can use it. So that is really cool. That's the nice thing about MDSX. That is why I switched my blog over. So that way I could show and use uh, different kind of things. You know, here I do the exact same thing with my theme toggle here. Built right in, this uh, subscribe form is built right into the file. So that's really cool. So let's get over here to our index. So this is the posts page. So MDSVX index. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to have a load function, and it's going to go ahead and uh, call this post JSON. We'll look at that in just a second. And await to get the response, and then return it as props. Export the props, set our head, and then we're just basically going to iterate through each and then provide a link, MDSVX post slug. So this endpoint, so this is calling an endpoint, is basically going to be a git. It's going to await a promise. And then it's going to go object entries. And then this is the important bits. Import meta glob. And it's going to grab every markdown file within this post JSON, or within this folder. So every, all of these files. And then it's going to go ahead and get the metadata and grab the slug, where we're going to create a slug based off the path. So 
this is going to be the slug for this, a markdown route, a second post. And we're going to go ahead and return that as a list of body, or in the body. So if we were to go here and do posts.json, you could see this is what is returned from this endpoint. So you can see posts, it has a layout, a title, and a generated slug. And again, you can return anything you want here in this, and that will be accessible within this endpoint. So if you wanted to get um, files from multiple spots, or you wanted to put all of your markdown files in a different location, you just need to make sure that you have an endpoint at that location that grabs all of these markdown files and returns what you want specifically for them. And then you can go ahead and you can make multiple requests to, you know, different endpoints. And that's how I'm doing again, to grab all of my posts, because right now, these are two different endpoints, one for the old, uh, old archive posts and one for the newer posts. And outside of that, that's it for this. So adding MDSVX is very easy. There are a lot of tutorials out there on this so far, and I've had a few uh, good ones. Um, I believe it was another Mike, I can't remember his name offhand, and C Bandy both helped me to convert mine. Let me just actually put it on here because I actually looked down here. Yes, Mike Nichols and C Bandy. Uh, you can see their examples on my blog. I'll make sure this, just to throw this in the show notes. And I do not have my blog posted, my repo for my blog right now, but you can take a look at theirs and use them as comparable ones. I thought they were very helpful, and they're very helpful in the Discord as well. So that is it for this episode. Hope you liked it. Subscribe. Check out my Patreon. Buy me a coffee. Thank you. See you next time.